Greetings, flesh creatures. It is I, Megatron. On behalf of TFYLP, I want to congratulate you for listening to the most refined collector podcast on this miserable little planet Earth. Yes. Here you'll find knowledgeable fans discussing every aspect of Transformers and beyond. Now, enjoy the show while I continue my path to complete conquest of all of you miserable biological entities. Predacons! Terrorize! Hi. Hi, welcome. Welcome to Cut the Tape. I got a... I got a big box that I'm hiding from my wife down here. And, um... I thought we'd open it and, and see what's inside. Uh, I ordered some human remains, so... Hopefully this is it. Oh. oh, don't ever get old. All right. All right, I did a pre-cut so that there was a final cut to be made. I'm here in my fortress of obsolescence. Uh, all right, first thing I got, I got a card. I, I wish I could read. I got... Uh, I got a book, like a whole cover my address up book here of like, I don't know if this is like a manifesto or a list of what's inside. I, I, I ain't got time to read. Wear your mask, people. It's disrespectful not to wear a mask. All right, I got some, you know, when I was a kid, we had some bubble wrap, and you would have as much fun with the bubble wrap as you would with whatever someone shipped to you, like if they mailed you a gun or something, and it came in bubble wrap, you would just sit there, look, shh, shh, nothing. This is forever bubble wrap. This bubble wrap can circulate the world a thousand times over. Forever bubble wrap. Yeah, it leaves, you know, a nice carbon footprint, but it's takes the fun out of it. All right. I got I got some more bubble wrap. I got all right. I got some an empty bottle. We'll fill that with later up later but it won't be with whiskey. <clears throat> Let's see what random stuff I'm Hiding from my wife tonight. I got uh, Fure Actian Optimus Prime Idwa Ver. Um, so a few months ago, I did an episode of Cut the Tape where I took a model kit, the the Furai model kit. Of, of this figure and I opened it and I did a whole uh, speed walkthrough fast forwarding of me assembling the whole thing. Now they've done it for me, which means all of those like seven, eight model kits that I just bought that are waiting there for me to open, I don't need to open them again because I can just spend more of my wife's money and just buy it with someone else having made it for me. And, and they like painted it nice. So that that's what this is. We'll, we'll you know what? Maybe we'll open this today. I don't I don't know. I don't know. Maybe we'll open that today. Oh, there's a you know, some people call him Space Turkey. I call him Shuttlecock. It doesn't stick too well together to this. But they should have made it where you could stick it to Omega Supreme on the back or give Fortress Maximus wings or something. I don't know. I don't know. Oh, I got I got something here I can't show you. Yeah, cuz I'm not I'm not supposed to have that. I'm not supposed to have that. I got oh. I got Trap No. This is a Super 7 Wave 2. So there's Alpha Trion 
Miragi, Grimlick, Skifire, Space Choo Choo, Galaxy Man, Frenzy, and Shrapnel. Uh, I don't know why it says Rumble on here, because it's clearly, it's clearly Frenzy. Uh, so this is nice. Uh, Shrapnel was the only Insecticon I had as a kid. So he's, he's my favorite. I got DK13 Wasabi Goop Upgrade Kits. Ah, oh, excellent. This is for the, uh, uh, War for Cybertron Siege Galaxy Convoy. Excellent. Uh, Cybertron is one of my favorite toy lines. Love that Optimus. Love that Megatron. Oh, I got something else here I'm not supposed to show you. Sometimes people th send me things that I can't, I can't show you because of reasons. I got this. This is made in Vietnam. So this is the Transformers War for Cybertron made in Vietnam set. Uh, I believe this has uh, the four tapes in here. Uh, it's got two tapes and then two tapes that go with um, Double Dealer, I think. Soundwave Spy Patrol Unit. Let's just open it. Whoops. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what that is. So you got um, <clears throat> you got Rumble Frenzy, uh, not Rat Bat, um, and then other guys who go with Double Dealer, who I don't have yet because he's not out yet. Or is he? Just for special people, he is. I got another one of these. Transformers Go Combiner Gold Helmet. I actually have one over here, but uh, I need another one to open. So they were on clearance, and I thought, well, Clarence, let me let me get a second one. So now I have two, one to open, and one to stare out in a plastic bag. That I can't show you that. I got the uh, GI Jose Snake Eyes. We've we've talked about Snake Eyes before. This is the I guess this is going to be at re I don't know if this is going to be a retail or not. But it's got a lot of vehicles on the back of the art, which really annoys me because we ain't never going to get those vehicles. Like we'll, we'll get like a trouble bubble. We ain't never going to get no his tank. Maybe a his tank, but we're never going to get a Mobat. That's for sure. There are some alley vipers up top, though, which is, you know, everyone's favorite vipers. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So uh, I'll probably keep this sealed until I get all the other ones. I'm really hoping they show up at retail, because, uh, yeah. Let's see, I got MP19 Plus product, uh, authentic Takara Tomy product as sold in Japan. Who the hell is 19 Plus? Oh, this is Smokescreen. This is TV show Smokescreen. Masterpiece Smokescreen. God, I wish they put the names on the boxes. I got some more forever wrap. I got uh, a pen for Masterpiece 19. I got um, another pen. So I guess now instead of coins, they're sending me pens. I don't know, I got MP48. This is the Burning Convoy Beast Wars. Yeah, pretty sure that's it. That sounds right. Let's see if there's any more spiders in here. What is, what is, what is this? Oh, this is a Insecticon Upgrade. 
set. Yay. Oh, there's other things. Oh, so I've been going back and trying to get some of the uh, crossovers that I didn't have full complete sets of. You know, there's the Transformers Back to the Future, 20 years overdue, a crossover that's coming out. There's a crossover with Top Gun. Uh, there's been crossovers with a racist Japanese game show host and uh, Ice School Pops, uh, Hello Kitty, Street Fighter, and of course, Disney. When I was a kid, I always thought that like that was a G and it was actually Disney. So I'm like, that well, it just looks like a G. But this is the um, holiday edition Mickey Mouse convoy. So it's Mickey Mouse and he transforms into uh, like an Optimus Prime looking truck. Uh, it's the same toy as the one I already had, but this one's like a holiday themed. They did a whole bunch of these. They, they did like a, I think there's like a black version. There's like a Halloween version, which is like got like pumpkin deco on it. And then they did Donald and there's like all versions of that. There's like a Halloween version of that. MP38 plus, wait a minute. MP38 plus, who the hell is this? If that's MP48, who's MP38? Cybertron leader, Cybertron leader. You know what? Let's just cut some tape, man. Let's just cut some tape and find out what's happening. Okay. Burning convoy. Great red ape. Burning convoy is number 38. Yeah. Okay. Okay. 48. This is Leo convoy. Leo Convoy. Yay. Hey, I got some third-party stuff. This is a clear bag with a warning label. I assume it says don't eat the bag. Uh, may cling to nose and prevent mouth breathing. Here's Fan Toys. FT41 Sheridan. I think they meant to say Sharon, and they just, you know, got lost in the translation. So, it says Sheridan, pretty sure it's supposed to say Sharon. <clears throat> uh, here's another third parte. This is uh, Red Bull. This is the uh, side sweat, but he's, he's a Red Bull, and this is actually pretty nice. I haven't played with this before. I haven't seen any reviews of it before. So it's a slip box. There's no tape on it. Box comes off. This is a nice, uh, I don't wanna say corrugated. It's a, it's a nice cardboard stock. This, this feels classy. Like some of the cigars you would order would come in like a box like this. Yeah. Oh. So there's no tape on it. Red Bull. You know, I was joking with the name Red Bull, but his name's actually, it's actually called Red Bull. <laughs> I didn't know what the hell it was called. So it has a nice foam protector up top. Now I am all for this. I am all for taking the classic 84, 85, 86 characters, making them into animals. I'm all for it. This is awesome. This is Sideswipe, but he's a bull. I would think that he would have been a horse, but I guess, you know, because of speed and stuff. But um, what if Prowl was a horse? You know? I think that'll work. Because, you know, police officers sometimes ride horses, Mounties ride horses. So, I think Prowl could be a horse. 
I pitched an idea that went nowhere for a Beast Wars, just a Beast Wars concept. You know, doesn't could have been a toy line, could have been a comic, could have been for anything. But Optimus was a bear. And I said, all right, Optimus Primal, he's going to be a big grizzly bear. And in Japan, we're going to call him Big Bear Convoy. And everybody laughed and they said, we're not doing any of your ideas. Uh, let's see. I'm still playing catch up. Look, this is number 36 of the movie series. I only had one of these to open. And Big Bad, I guess, got a bunch of these. Some of these have been showing up at like discount places like Ross. But um, Price was right. This is a much nicer box than the one I have. So this will stay sealed. And the other one shall be opened. Now, now and forever. Oh! <sighs> Sonic Blue Bumblebee and Exosuit Chama. Yeah, that's a thing. Oh, I paid way too much for it. But it is a nice box and it's sealed. And you know what? I do want to open it, but I, I, I paid a, a little bit more than I wanted to pay, but that's because I waited and uh, I lost out. So um, this is from the uh, Transformers Bump of Chicken line, as you can see. Um, the, the, the Bump of Chicken, which it was great. It was the, the Bump Wars, and then that led into Chicken Machines. That was um, that was a great time. So it's nice to finally get this blue, blue version as seen in the show. Bump of chicken. Oh, look! I got some more super sevens. I got another shrapnel, because you know, you you gotta have one to open. I, I got a Grimlock, and uh, got a Sky. And these are all unpunched cards. I love that. Sound wave, because you know, you gotta have sometimes you gotta have two to open, you know, because most of my toys are in the basement. Sometimes I want to have a toy hidden around the house in case you know my wife's yelling at me and I just want to fiddle with something. Can't fiddle with myself anymore. Hey, I got I got Rumble and Frenzy. So I wanted to put out uh, a Rumble and Frenzy figure, but then halfway, th like I wanted to put out a Rumble figure in blue, but then halfway through the production run, switch it, the name to Frenzy, and have there be equal production, like 10,000 units in Rumble, 10,000 units in Frenzy. Same color, but we just switched the names on the packaging. Nobody got that. I, I was... Uh, I won't say it way ahead of my time. I was just, you know, not in time. A whole bunch of Super 7 stuff. There's Mirage. -y. We need a, we need a clear... You know they're going to make a clear version of this. You know they're, they're probably working on it right now. Uh, who, who else we got? Space Choo Choo. Space Choo Choo. I don't, I don't know. There's a whole there's a whole bunch of them. I got, I got a whole bunch. And um, you may not know this, but I I sure do love collecting other things that aren't Transformers, like uh, um, He-Man and certain Star Wars. I love Legos, uh, but I also like Alien and Predator. Boom. Uh, these are great. These are uh, three and three quarter inch. Um, Alien and Predator figures. I've been, these are from uh, Haya Toys. Uh, I've been getting a whole bunch of these. I've been troop building the, the regular aliens. Uh, so my dream one day, I've, you know, I mentioned every now and again, I'm building a 16 and a half foot long USS flag for the GI Joes. It holds 26 Sky Strikers. For Cobra, I'm gonna take a wall and I'm gonna build like the like Cobra offices where there's like extensive enterprises up top and then there's like you know, the sweets for, for like the twins and, and Destro. But then in the bottom levels, it's gonna be like, um, 
like the uh, building from Gremlins 2, the new batch, where like every floor, you know, there's like a TV station floor, there's like a zombie station floor, there's a store where like uh, aliens and predators are attacking, another one where there's dinosaurs attacking, and everything's going around for Cobra. I I've got a couple hundred Cobra troopers, so I just thought it that would be a cool way to display them. But, you know, one day I'll get to that. I got a model kit. It's the Devastator model kit. And it's, uh, feels a little bigger than the other ones. I know the price was a little bigger than the other ones. You know what I don't care for? This generic Transformers. Like it's been on everything lately. Like the last couple years, I think. It's just, it just feels very generic. I mean, there's consistency across all the products and licensed goods like this, but it just... I miss, like, the old chromed-out the Transformers more than meets the eye logo. I'm not a G1-er by any means. I mean, I have a lot of G1. Um, I just got this in. You know, I, I had, you know, an open hound, so I had to get a sealed hound. So, I, you know, I, I had to get that. And this... This is also for my Alien Predator collection. Uh, this was a great piece of artwork that somebody did. There's a story behind this. There was a great piece of fan art that showed up of what if a T-Rex had an alien burst through its chest and that alien grew up to be an asshole. Years later, we've actually got the figure of the um, X-Rex. Um... I don't even know if this is officially licensed. I don't think this is officially licensed. There's no mentions of Fox on this. I mean, or Disney. I don't think I don't think this is like a really licensed thing. I don't care. It's a figure of a T-Rex alien queen. I, you know what? Just open it. Just do it. Yeah, I don't think this is official. But I can show it to you. Just, shh, just don't tell anyone. Don't tell my wife. She's the only queen in my life. Whew. That is pungent. Wow. You ever open your gas tank when your gas tank's full of gas? That's what that smells like. Oh. Burns the eyes. Oh my gosh. Ooh. It's gonna. Oh my god. I swear that's giving me a headache. Uh, you gotta put it together. You gotta put the little T Rexy arms in there. The, the spines on the back, but just to give you a sense of scale, it's pretty big. Here, that's that's big. That's that's big. Why am I putting this away? I'm gonna put this in my daughter's room while they're sleeping tonight. <laughs> and finally, least of all. I told you about my Cobra base of doom. Uh, I had to get a couple of these. These were just um, three and three quarter inch alien eggs with face huggers in it. And uh, holy shit, Cobra's gonna go up against this. They're gonna have a bad day. When Cobra goes up against aliens and face huggers, they're gonna have a bad time. That was a lot of stuff we got. That was, that was a lot of stuff. We kind of opened stuff. We kind of opened stuff. Let's just, let's just go all the way. Beep up, bop, bop, bump. So, a story about why Double Dealer is of interest to me. A little personal here. We're going to get a little little emotional little 
little history about the origins of, of Rick. Uh, so I was living in South America at the time in Venezuela and my mom had to travel to the US I had major separation anxiety anyway she brought me back a transformer and it was double dealer and I was super excited and to to like I would say early high school, I always thought Double Dealer was an Autobot. But he's not. He's a Decepticon. What is this guy? I think it's Wing Thing. I feel like the legs pop out here. Am I wrong? Oh, there they do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, no, that's a nice little transformation. That's a nice little transformation. I can dig that. And then, you know, it, it looks like the Power Master engine. Nothing wrong with that. This was a clever way of reusing this, this mold. Kudos. Kudos. I wish it had some more articulation in the arms. I mean, it's got the same articulation that the G1 version had. I don't know, it can, it can do this. Can't do this. It can 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 can't do this. Yeah, I just died in your arms tonight. Must have been something to say. And then I don't know who the hell this asshole is. I, I remember at one point there was like an orange rat bat. Man, I have forgotten more Minicon names than, like, people. Uh, okay, so Scar, Knock, Wing Thing, and Frenzy. So that's Scar. And this is Frenzy for the Siege, War for Cybertron, pre-Earth. But it says Frenzy. See, this is how... It says, it says Frenzy, all right? So it says Frenzy on here. It's the blue one, but here, you know, it says Rumble, and it's the, so, you know. It's just one long troll. That's all it is. It's just one long troll. I don't care, I'm just happy to have it. Happy to have the figure. There he is. It's not bad. I think I would have liked a rat bat in a, like still rat bat, but it's like, it's covered in energon, blood or something. That's not bad though. It's completely different, you know, it's orange, so it's completely different. I appreciate it. Hell, it could G2 wrap that for all I care. I don't know. Really love Wing Thing. Do they have the same face? Different faces. I really appreciate that. It's the little things like that that make them just like, make them pop to people like me. I grew up with this stuff. Back in my time, we wouldn't have been able to, to do a remold like that. Or if we did the remold, we wouldn't have released it. <laughs> but I'm happy with that. I'm, I'm happy with that. That's a great set. This is the Transformers War for Cybertron made in Vietnam set. 
I think this is on the Hasbro Pulse. I got mine from Big Bad Toy Store. Thanks, Papa Joel. Hey, wash your hands. Register to vote. Go vote. I don't care who you vote for. Just go vote. Be nice to each other. And hopefully this will be over sooner and later. And if there's a vaccine, get vaccinated. Get vaccinated. Get the flu vaccine. You should do that anyway. We only vaccinate like 40% of the country. Go do that. Go. Go do that. All right. Goodbye. Keep, keep washing hands. Oh, and uh, very...